MEF01 The Mind Energy Factory Introduction Life Energy Philosophy is about monitoring life energy dynamics, our thoughts. The universal mind adopts a somewhat mechanical view of life energy and discovers that when using a purely disconnected technical perspective, the current evolution of our mind energy seems to be about moving from using third and fourth dimensional traditional life energy dynamics to create our human minds towards instead using fifth dimensional new age life energy dynamics to create our human minds. In the most basic technical terms we're all, including the fauna and flora, moving from using life energy dynamics that vibrate around the outside of the molecules and atoms of the planet, to using life energy dynamics just a few nanometers thinner which vibrate through the molecules and atoms of a planet and indeed through the dark matter of the cosmos subatomic universal energy the basic understanding that we're all naturally evolving to create our regular mind with energy dynamics that are just a little bit more refined than our current regular mind energy is all you need to know to get yourself started. Go now and begin evolving your own mind energy through self-directed deep meditation if you wish or stay and learn a little more about how we refine and process our life energy dynamics, our thoughts. Okay then, life energy philosophy is based on one very simple idea. Rather than observing energy fields, LEP zooms in a little closer and observes life energy dynamics. With each heartbeat, energy is pushed through the DNA molecules of our body and formed into individual spiral shaped rays of light. The billions of individual rays of light life energy dynamics form our biofield of life energy. The cross section of a life energy dynamic is a spiral. Learning to create a new life energy dynamic is a bit like making the new thought that creates a spiral of energy with the exact right frequency to open a true window of perception in our mind. Each life energy dynamic holds general information within its frequency and its amplitude. As we look at the mind energy factory with some mechanical perspective, we first noticed that the entire MEF refines our life energy dynamics into smaller and smaller amplitude with faster and faster frequency. This means that during our lifetimes we're all learning to refine life energy dynamics so that they contain more and more information. The general information isn't complicated and it's the same for all life energy dynamics everywhere. Quite simply, each distinct frequency of life energy dynamic holds a distinct meaning. The amplitude tells us about the level of perspective on which the life energy dynamic was first refined. In this way, life energy dynamics form a kind of language without words that's available everywhere in our universe. We can follow our own life energy dynamics around 
by watching real-time graphs of the frequency of our life energy and using our imagination with any biofeedback technology. The AVS Biosensor graphs your life aura. Since all the life energy dynamics combine to form our biofield, we felt this would be a great way to truly follow our own life energy dynamics around. Our mind is energy that's made up of all the life energy dynamics in our biofield. We teach ourselves to refine life energy dynamics to different frequencies by creating different thoughts. We spend our life learning to make all the different possible frequencies of life energy dynamics, that is, all the possible human thoughts. There are lots and lots of potential human thoughts, too many to learn in just one lifetime. It turns out, however, that we, meaning every single one of us, happen to be in a very lucky position right now. Channeled messages transmitted from the fifth dimension of the universe have been being received across the world in many different languages and all have been saying the same general things for over two decades now. It's something we've never seen in history. All these messages vary in minor detail, but all seem to agree that we, meaning every single one of us, simply could not have been born here and now if we hadn't at some eternal time already experienced and mastered all the possible human thoughts. In other words, one, reincarnation is real and true, and two, all our DNA already knows how to do it. We have no more eternal learning about being a human being left to do. All we have left to do now is simply intend to activate it. This is all very exciting and I ran into things like a bullet at gate to see for certain whether or not all this information was correct. I've thoroughly checked for myself and it certainly is. It's difficult to convince me of much because I'll always check so many different angles of an idea but we can't technically speaking disprove it. Now we just run with the logical progression of the idea well, of course, always maintaining an objective eye. The Mind Energy Factory imaginative scenario is a kind of story about some of the things we've found by following our own life energy dynamics around. The main concepts of the Mind Energy Factory are consciousness and perception. Consciousness. The life energy dynamics of our conscious mind, the thinking we hear in the moment, vibrate along our spinal column, through our brain and sometimes above our head. As we breathe in, all the information collected from our current perception is sent to the appropriate energy center for processing. The information energy is sorted by amplitude. The biggest energy dynamics are managed by the first energy center, or chakra. The second biggest life energy dynamics go to the second energy center, the third biggest to the third, and so on. While in the energy center, the information is collated and checked for immediate threat. Then the processed information is sent through with the flow of life energy to wherever all the consciousness is being directed for that moment. That is, to the position in the biofield where you're making your conscious thoughts right then.